What was your childhood nickname? My childhood nickname? It's always been Nando. I cut out the F-E-R for Nando and they just called me Nando. Nando. Even when I played football, they did Nando. Nando. It's just short as the Fernando and that's always what it is. Childhood nickname? Um, well, my fight name is J-Train. But my childhood nickname is J-G, Gonzo, you know, typical last name Gonzalez. So, uh, you know, you can say some people don't call me young nuts, you know, you want to ask my cousin or something, but uh, it goes from anything in between. So. Right, what's your favorite song before a fight? Oh, I got to pick my walkout song for Saturday's fight, and I picked the Mexican song called Mente Positiva by Junior Acha. Mente positiva y hay que cosas de la vida Si hablo de animales me gusta más gorilita Tengo quien me cuide también quien quiere matarme I'm really into that Hispanic music so But I mean I like any pop up song you know But that one I just wanted to For my first fight in Sparta I wanted to be a Good deal Good deal So Hell yeah Hell yeah Rap a little bit you know what I'm saying Ramon Ayala Vagando pasó la vida, lo más recorriendo el mundo. Favorite fight song, my personal walkout song, Smile Back by Mac Miller. So. Just the lyrics, what it means, just uh, the hype, the build up, and it just hits home. You know, it's home. So. Heroes get remembered, the legends never die. I feel like that's some way to kind of like to live my life, you know, is that uh, I want to leave something back. I want to leave something, so my name lives forever, you know. Remember, kid, there's heroes and there's legends. Heroes get remembered, but legends never die. Follow your heart, kid, and you never go wrong. What's your favorite food? My favorite food, Mexican food, and uh, enchiladas are my favorite. Seafood, like ceviche, uh, aguachiles, just anything like that. Oh, man. I haven't <laughs> ate for, for a while so. <laughs> It's a hard place right now. I'll eat anything right now, honestly. You'll give me anything and I'll eat the same. I, I, I see the foam, I see the foam. Uh, Take tacos, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I like to eat, man. I like to eat. I don't know if you guys have a um, My friends, she makes the best pan burritos I have ever had. I literally came up with food. I had the option of the opportunity to. Um, and man, I just love my grandma's home Mexican food. I just, uh, love Maybe just because grandma. <laughs>
Do you double dip when nobody's looking? Nah, I double dip in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? What? Did did you just double dip that chip? Excuse me? You double dipped the chip. Double dipped? What what, what are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> All the time, man. <laughs> Dirty secrets. Yeah. Are you an early bird or a night owl? You know, I, when I was younger, I used to be a night owl, but now that I'm getting older, more early, I like to wake I've been waking up at five, going for a three mile run, getting a long shower and then heading to work at six, so I would say early bird. Early get my shit done, Early in the morning. Early bird or night owl? Um it depends, man. I'm a little bit of bold, you know. Waking up in the morning, it takes a little time just to get going. <laughs> We used to do landscaping, so uh, you get up early, you get it done before the sun starts coming up, before it gets hot. But at the same time, you want to go out with your friends or my girl, you know. I like to stay out all night, so it's like, I'm a little bit of bull, it's hard to say. What's your spirit animal? You how? <laughs> Alright, what's your spirit animal? Lion. Lion. It's a king. That's, King of the jungle. I got a tattoo of a lion. And a cup for my daughter. It's a lion. There you go. Good. 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 Some would say I'm a gorilla. You know, just a uh, lion. You can't tame me. I don't want to be tame. I'm just a uh, king of the jungle. You know, the gorilla is a beast. Man. He's still got his hands, his digits. He just... <laughs> All right, what's a celebrity you would like to fight? Celebrity I'd like to fight? Oh, man. I, honestly? What do you think? I got bored of him. Okay, I forget his name. Have you seen a... Pineapple Express? I haven't seen Pineapple Express. Okay, okay. I, this is that? What's it? No, not that guy. The guy that goes in there and drinks all the water and... <laughs> What's his, do you know him? <laughs> I'll research him. I'll put his name on the, somewhere down here. Ah, I'm not really sure what's going on. I don't know, Dwayne Johnson in there? <laughs> Who is a celebrity? I was Takashi69. <laughs> Easy. Show us how would you release a butterfly? Release a butterfly? Yeah. Show us how would you release a butterfly? We're <laughs> <laughs> talking about like if you okay. had it in like a little in thing. your hand or whatever. Just like that. <laughs> Just throw it up with you. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I don't know if this is specific. Right? Yeah, this is Some people are a little more gentle, you know. Say bubbles as mean as you can. Laugh. <laughs> looking at the camera. Yeah, yeah, looking at the camera, like, like bubbles. <laughs> you have beep and pull that out. You have beep and pull that out, man. one of those people when they face off, I'm gonna laugh. You see? Right. Bubbles. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Bubbles. <laughs> as me as I can, say bubbles. Bubbles. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Oh, that. All right, man. Hit me with your battle cry. Battle cry. Yeah, battle cry. <laughs> <laughs>
That's scary as fuck. That's scary as fuck. You know, you're, 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 you're mean mug battle cry, you know, you're, ah, you know, you're fucking, that's a battle cry, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that battle cry. No, hell. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about right there, dog. That's all I'm laughing at. Alright. Ah! There we go. I was in northern Colorado, but pretty much up and down I-25, and uh, lived in Pueblo for like a year and a half, and, you know, but Greeley's my home, man, so uh, I like to represent this place, and I like it here, man, I love it here. That's good, that's good. How, how old are you, Justin? I'm 29. I'm 29 years old, so uh, still young, still kicking, man, I still yeah. got the best years ahead of me. Good, now you just won a title. Absolutely, yep. Tell us a little bit about that title, what title it is, and, and, and you know, uh, um, you know, who you fought to get this title from? Um, I'm actually wearing the shirt, LFA. It's the uh, Legacy Fighting Alliance. They are a uh, world-renowned title. Um, basically, what they're doing is they're a direct feeder for these bigger promotions. UFC, Bellator, One, PFL. Um, so, as the trend continues, I just won the belt, so I'm now can claim the title as a world champion. Um, big things are coming, you know. It was a great fight against an opponent named Jake Childers. He was 8-0, I was 10-0. Um, ended up getting the TKO victory in the fourth round about 40-some seconds in. So, uh, it was a great fight, man. He had me in some danger there for a brief moment. I had to fight some adversity, get through it, and I did. And Got my hand raised at the end of the day, That's which good. is uh, what we're all about. So, what's, what's your fighting style? What, what would you consider? <clears throat> you are, are you a brawler? Are you a boxer? Are you a wrestler? Um, you know, really, I, I spent most of my life being a wrestler. I started wrestling when I was eight years old. I wrestled at University of Northern Colorado. I wrestled at CSU Pueblo. Um, but in the meantime, man, we've really been working our hands, our kicks, and just playing with these different striking styles and. To be honest, really, that's that's really where I see fun in this game now. You know, mm -hmm. sure I can wrestle, and to to win, I'm gonna do whatever I have to do, man. If I have to bite this guy, I might bite him if I have to, yeah. you know. But uh, I like to think I'm a pretty smart fighter. I, I'm gonna point out your flaws. I'm gonna find them, and I'm gonna point them out for the world to see it. If you're a good striker, I'll stand and bang with you. I'm not afraid to, but I'm also not stupid. So if I need to take you down to beat you, I will. If you're a good grappler, I'm gonna beat you up on my feet, then so be it, you know? But I'm not afraid to go to these depths with these people at that game. So. Good. Now I've seen, I've seen Justin fight, and um, I'll tell you what, he's excited to see, man. And uh, the very first time I saw you, man, this was years ago, at a little local club show, man. I said, man, that guy right there, future star. And, and, and you're on your way, bro. You're on Absolutely. your way. You're, you're at the cusp of it. Um, a few more jumps and, and, and um, you're in the big leagues. I mean, Absolutely. you're in the big leagues now already. Yeah. But uh, ultimately, where do you, you know, where do you see yourself? What do you want? Where do you want to end up? Um, because I know there's, there's a lot of people out there that are going to now start knocking down your door. Absolutely. There's, there's going to be battles already started. Or, there's UFC. There's all kinds. Of, of people that are going to be making offers out there? Um, it's hard to say, man. You know, I uh, obviously I want to be the best in the business. I want to be the best to ever do it. I want to be known as J-Train, undefeated, the best fighter to ever do it, ever. That's my goal, man. And uh, 
nothing shy of that, man. The sky's the limit, you know. So we are, we got some things in the works. My managers are pushing with some big promotions. So um, obviously I'm not gonna release that right now because what? until Penn hits paper, it's not set in stone. But uh, the biggest, the best. You think you're the baddest in my division? Let's talk, man. Let's sign that Bring contract, it. man. I, that's who I want. In order to be the man, you gotta take out the man. And I'm ready for it all, man. Like Good. I said. Do you, do you have a fight lined up yet? Um, not right now. We're uh, we're taking just a little time off, letting some little things heal. We're gonna get back to training real quick, and uh, you know, for now we got our teammates, so they kind of need a little bit more presence than I do, which Good. they got big fights coming up. So. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about your gym. You talk about you guys. I mean, I've been seeing you guys staying busy, man. You guys are you know, guys are popping, making it happen. You know, staying busy, fighters left and right. You got a good stable. That's a, a good young stable. Um, you know, Eric's coming out into the scene. He's gonna make some big splashes. Um, yeah. You know, you almost everybody kind of sees you as that team captain. They see you as that guy because you, you're, you're, you're where everybody's aspiring to get. Absolutely, um, I accept that role. It's man. So uh, first off, let me just start off by saying I represent Top Notch Sports Academy, but I also fight out of Trials MMA in Fort Collins, and I bounce around to other gyms, man, getting the different partners that I can. Um, back to uh, back to here. I, I do take that role. I take that role with pride. I'm very proud to be here from Top Notch, representing Greeley, man. This is my city. I'll put my city on my back, you know. Um, I think I just got the ball rolling for everybody, you know. And we got great fighters, man. Eric is a stud, man. And getting to work with him and picking his brain apart, you know. His game's a little different in boxing, but I'm not too proud to ask questions and be like, what are you thinking here on this? What are you looking for? Versus what am I looking for, you know? Yeah. Um, Fernando has got a fight coming up. Ben's got a fight coming up next week, you know? And those are, these guys are killers, man. And we train together, we beat each other up, but it's a great relationship. Some of these guys are my best friends in the world, you know? We can come and beat the shit out of each other, <laughs> and we can go upstairs to the Rio and get a marg afterwards, you know? Right. It's just, uh, it's a special bond to be able to do that with somebody, you know. Not everybody could do that, you know. Yeah. And uh, I hold it dear. Dude. I hold it deep in my heart, man. Now a lot of people will say, Justin J. Train Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Is... We don't see the Gonzalez. <laughs> I'm a wedo, man. I'm a wedo. <laughs> I take it with pride, you know. Um, so my dad is Hispanic, and my mom is basically as white as it gets. But. Uh, she hold it down for me, man. My mama, I love you very much. If you watch this, dad, I love you. Thank you guys for everything you've done for me, you know. Um, you know, I get both sides, man. It's it's cool, you know. It's, uh, I represent both sides. I'm not too proud to admit that, you know. It's, uh, especially in the world that we're living in with everything going on. Of this Black Lives Matter, the COVID, these riots, you know. There's a lot going on in the world. It's, uh, you know, being able to be a mixed breed, I think it's fun to show that, like, hey, man, we're, we're all one. We're all At the one. end of the day, we're all one, whether you're brown, white, black, we all you matter. name it, man. We all matter. I still support the cause. I understand what you guys are fighting for, so I do support it. Um, but it's just at the end of the day, man, we're all one. People yeah. need to remember that. Well, you know, people, people need to remember we all know what's right and we all know what's wrong. Absolutely. You know what you I know? mean? And it basically comes down to that, man. You know, you have a few radicals out there that want to blur the lines between right and wrong, but you know what's right and you know what's wrong. I exactly. know what's right and what's wrong. There's a clear, there's a clear line. And you know, man, you know. If it's not right, don't do it. Don't do it. It's pretty simple. Don't simple do as it. that. And so that, you know, that's, I think that's somewhere where we can all agree, you know, um, you know, no matter what. But uh, so, you know, going back to uh, to to the Gonzalez and and, and, the, and your family. So, how many? You know, you you have brothers and sisters. Yeah, yeah. I have two brothers. I have an older brother and I have a younger brother. And it's funny. My older brother probably looks more Mexican than both of us, and then my <laughs> younger brother looks just like me, just a little bit bigger. Yeah. So, uh, how he got the dark jeans, I couldn't tell you. But. So, did anybody in your family? Um, were anybody MMA fighters, or, or um, are you the first one? I was the first one, you know, I mean, uh, from the stories that I've heard, my dad used to be a fighter back in the day, just on the street, just getting in trouble, always causing some chaos. Um, as a child, I wanted to box, you know, I wanted to box, I, uh, I couldn't tell you why, man, I just got this, this thrill of 
fighting was fun. And, and um, you know, I was getting in trouble in school a little bit, beating up some kids. Uh, funny story, me and my friend, his name was Devin. We were in like third grade, fourth grade. We set up this fight with each other, even though we were best friends. And uh, I end up hitting him in uh, the diamond cutter. I don't know if you guys are WWE fans, you know, Diamond Dallas Page had this move. And I hit him, and he hit his head on a rock. So he starts crying. I got scared I was going to get in trouble. So I ran off, you know, whatever. Yeah. The next day, he's like, why'd you just leave me? He goes, I don't know. I didn't want to get in trouble. So uh, my mom and dad ended up like, we're not going to let you box. We're not going to support you beating kids. Up. But uh, we are going to try out wrestling. Maybe this is gonna be good for you. We tried it, and I loved it, man. I just never looked back. Just something about the challenge, getting beat up. Granted, I was a little crybaby whenever I was younger, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but it just made me who I am today, man. Having to overcome hardships, having to do things that you don't necessarily want to do, but you have to do to become better and to grow in the sport, you know, and grow as a man. So. Uh, I think the sport saved my life, honestly. Yep. And, so, and so looking back at you, you know, you did some wrestling and then get into the sport of MMA and um, you know, where, where do you think you got your drive from? Because it takes a lot of drive to make it to where you've made it. What What is that drive? What's that fire? What lights that fire, man? Ah, there's a lot. There's a lot of things. Um, you know, like I said, man, growing up we moved a lot. Money wasn't always the best. We didn't always have the most money. So. If I wasn't getting paid to fight, I, I might still do it, you know, just because I thoroughly enjoy this. But getting paid definitely helps change my life, you know. That's a big motive for me. I want to I wanna give my mom a life where she can retire early. I want to do that for my dad, you know. Seeing my mom work two jobs, that hurts me, man. I don't want to see her do that. Um, coming into the gym, man, I got, I got little cousins, nephews, nieces. These little guys here at the gym, man, they look at me like... Like, I'm more than a man. They look at me like I'm invincible. And just being able to guide them and show them the way that if I can do it, any of you guys can do it, you know? There's there's no difference between me and you. If you want it bad enough, you can make it happen, you know? No matter whether you come from money, whether you come from the streets, you know? I found a way to make this happen, and I'm almost there, you know? Yep. So the world is mine for the taking. If you want it, go get it, you know? It's just being able to show people and be a leader for them and inspiring these lives, man. That's kind of like the thing that I said is I'm leaving a legacy. And if I can impact these little guys' lives, then I've done my job, you know. You're, you're, on, the, you're on the correct path, man. And I'll tell you what, uh, you're impacting more people than you realize. Yeah, You know, absolutely. And, and um, you said at some point in time, you might look back and you're going to see the, the broad shadow that you have been able to provide for people or the shade uh, you know of what you have been able to reap Absolutely. but um you know I, I, you know I think now where you're at you know having to really focus and and, and even acknowledge that uh, you know you want to you, you you take that role on for you know that people look up to you um that means a lot because you know it, it shows you're not that self, you're not a selfish guy you know it shows that um it's not all just about you you know, it's about everybody that's coming with everybody, you. Everybody, man. Everybody, exactly. And I've told AJ, I've told Mike, if I eat, we all eat. That's just how I was raised, man. That's yeah. how it is. Now. And I think it's part of what got me to where I am today. We're talking about eating. What's your like, local favorite spot? Ooh. Yeah, when, 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 when J-Tree's not training and, and somebody in the area wants to get a, get a glimpse of J-Tree, where, where might they catch just an app? Oh man, there's a couple, so just hear me out, you know, Wings, Wing Shack, all day, every day, man, love it, it just, uh, best spot in town, Wing Shack. Um, you want some Mexican food? I like El Cielo, I like Rancho Alegre, it just depends, it just depends on what I'm going for. Um, sushi, you know, there's an all-you-can-eat sushi place. Um, I'm not gonna say uh, they've been in some trouble for some health code stuff, but uh, <laughs> for a while back. But you know, hey, I still go there. Sometimes you find those little janky spots, and they just hit the hardest, you know. Right. So, uh, um, all you can eat crab legs. We go to Lucky Fins, you know. So it just depends on what everybody's feeling, man. You know, yeah. normally we go as a group. All of our friends get together, and we plan something out. So good. So out of Good, those dude. four, man, you can find me guaranteed. 
you hit the spot, I'm there. So. <laughs> Good. It would be, and come down the road, you might be looking for some sponsorship from some of these people. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, man. The world's mine for the taking. we got some big things in the works, so uh, let's work something out. Heck yeah. That's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. Now, you know, uh, every time I've seen you come in, you, you have this, you have this uh, happy-go-lucky attitude, man. You're already on top of the world. I got a great life, man. I love what I do. I got great people around me. And, you know, the, to be honest, man, if I quit today, every single one of these people would still support me in what I wanted to do, you know? Um, granted, that's not the route we're taking, because I love this. I love what I do. It's, uh, you can't, it's hard, man. It's not always like this, you know? This is an emotional roller coaster of big fight coming up, Sustaining injuries, just weight cutting, um, fights I mean, falling just out. Fights falling out, man. There's there's so much to take into consideration, man. You know, going to work and then going to train and then going to train again. You're like, you know, you're beat up, you're tired, you don't want to do it sometimes, but you have to. And so, it's not always pretty, but that's part of the game, and I accepted it when I got into it. But for the most part, man, I had this talk with my coaches. I want to keep this fun. As long as the game is fun for me, I'm going to enjoy myself, keep learning, keep growing. And the sky's the limit, man. And look at where it's got us, you know? So it's like, there's a time where, uh, you know, we're cutting weight and I'm in the sauna and I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> uh, but we got to go to those dark places, you know? Yeah. But there's also times where we're done with the fight and the whole team comes together and we go out, we get some food, have some beers, and we're just celebrating, man. That's kind of just, it comes on both ends, you know? Yep. So, uh, you gotta take the good with the bad. Absolutely. So, I try not to make too much out of it. I, uh, I try to enjoy it, keep it fun. So like I said with my training partners, man, we keep it fun. We're laughing, we're smiling in their training fight with each other. Yep. And then after, whenever we're done, we go upstairs and get a margarita, man. It's yeah. just, uh, Keep the game fun. If you enjoy it, you'll go a lot further, man. Just, yep. that's the truth. As far as mentors, man, shout out to the mentors, the people that have motivated, motivated you throughout your career in life. You know, you give a shout out to your parents, but, you know, I always find myself, you know, um, I'm only as high as the people's shoulders that lift me up. Absolutely. And so, you know, you got coaches, you got, you know, the coaches in Fort Collins, you know, um, and I know there's a lot of people that, you know, are, we wouldn't have enough time to just give everybody the props. Yeah. But to give out the props, give a couple of shout outs to the people that, that have made, made you who you are. Oh, man. Um, my parents, man, they're, they're very big in my life, man. Uh, my grandparents, my gramps isn't doing so hot right now. So I love it, Pops. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll stop by. Um, just the lessons they've taught and they've instilled they made me the man who I am today you know it's uh it didn't just happen overnight it took a lifetime to build me into who I am uh, I've known Mike he was one of my first wrestling coaches you know and he stuck by me through it all whether I was a little shit or whether I was having a bad tournament whether I was having a good tournament man you know and that means a lot to me that's that's more there's, there's some times where I thought it was done for me and there was nothing left for me so um just everybody sticking through me, man. I appreciate it. AJ, I mean, me and AJ haven't known each other all the longest, but we've grown really tight over the past couple of years, you know? So, um, I'm just thankful for it. You know, my guys at Trials, if I ask any of these guys, whether it's here in Trials, to bend over backwards for me, they would do it. And there wouldn't be questions asked. So, I just can't thank these guys enough. Coach Taylor, man, I love you, brother. Without you, I wouldn't be here. Just sticking through me, surgeries, highs, lows, it all, man. It just, like I said, man, I got great people around me. All these gyms I'm at, man, they just want Life to see me good. succeed. Life is good. I'm very blessed to be in the situation that I am. That's, so. that's wonderful, man. That's really good. Nobody makes it to the top on their own. So all these people, it's not just my success, it's our success, you know? So on his time off, what does uh, Jason like to do, man? What is he into? He's into cars, horses, fishing, camping. Oh man, uh, I just went camping last weekend. We were supposed to go up to Glenwood this weekend, but with the fires, obviously uh, that's not gonna happen. Yeah. So uh, 
Summer, not training, you catch me out at the lake, dude, riding some jet skis, waterboarding, skiing, whatever, man. Um, it's winter, I love snowboarding, man. I love it. I have so much fun up there on the mountain. <laughs> Me and my buddy Ben, we go all the time. So uh, if we're not in camp, sometimes we even do squeeze it in there. Probably not the smartest, but hey, like I said, we got to live our lives too. Camping, shooting, and going out and having beers with the guys, you know. I'm, I'm a pretty open book. I'm a normal guy. I live a normal life. When I'm not training, I'm having some fun. But when it's time to get serious, man, I... Uh, I think people understand they don't see me for a while because it's like, hey man, I got to turn into a different person. So, right. And uh, in order to be successful, you got to make sacrifices. So, you know. Wonderful, man. Good deal, man. Shit, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be keeping an eye out for you to when you come, you know, when we make the next announcement or the next fight coming up. Absolutely. It'll be um, coming here soon. You guys just stay tuned, man. I'll, I'll let everybody know. It'll be a big announcement. Definitely. So, for all of you that, um, you know, just stay tuned, and uh, when the announcement comes, it comes. But uh, keep your eyes open, because this man's going to make some shock waves in the water, man. It's what we do, man. It's what um, we do. Thank you, baby. Thank you for your time, thank man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate right on, man. you guys, appreciate you. man. Thank you. Cool, man. That was fun, that was man. That was cool, fun. Man. Fight's I mean, falling just out. Just fight's falling out, man. There's, there's so much to take into consideration, man, you know? going to work and then going to train and then going to train again you're like you know you're beat up you're tired you don't want to do it sometimes but you have to and so it's not always pretty but that's part of the game and I accepted it when I got into it but for the most part man I had this talk with my coaches I want to keep this fun as long as the game is fun for me I'm gonna enjoy myself keep learning keep growing and the sky's the limit, man, and look at where it's got us, you know? So it's like, there's a time where, uh, you know, we're cutting weight, I'm in the sauna, and I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> uh, but we got to go to those dark places, you know? Yeah. But there's also times where we're done with the fight, and the whole team comes together, and we go out, we get some food, have some beers, and we're just celebrating, man. That's kind of just... It comes on both ends, you know. Yep. So uh, you gotta take the good with the bad. Absolutely. So I try not to make too much out of it. I uh, I try to enjoy it, keep it fun. So like I said, with my training partners, man, we keep it fun. We're laughing, we're smiling in their training fight with each other. Yeah. And then after, whenever we're done, we go upstairs and get a margarita, man. It's yeah. just uh, keep the game fun. If you enjoy it, you'll go a lot further, man. Just yep. that's the truth. As far as mentors, man, shout out to the mentors, the people that have. Motivated, motivated throughout your career and in life. You know, you gave a shout out to your parents, but it, you know, I always found myself, you know, um, I'm only as high as the people's shoulders that lift me up. Absolutely. And so, you know, you got coaches, you got, you know, the coaches in Fort Collins, you know, um, and I know there's a lot of people that, you know, are, we wouldn't have enough time to just give everybody the props, yeah. but to give out the props, give a couple of shout outs to the people that, that have made, made you who you are. Oh man, um, my parents, man, they're they're very big in my life, man. Uh, my grandparents, my gramps isn't doing so hot right now, so I love you, pops. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll stop by. Um, just the lessons they've taught and they've instilled and made me the man who I am today. You know, it's uh, it didn't just happen overnight. It took a lifetime to build me into who I am. I've known Mike, he was one of my first wrestling coaches, you know, and he stuck by me through it all. Whether I was a little shit, or whether I was having a bad tournament, whether I was having a good tournament, man, you know, and that means a lot to me. That's, that's more, that's, there's some times where I thought it was done for me, and there was nothing left for me. So, um, just everybody sticking through me, man, and I appreciate it. AJ, I mean, me and AJ haven't known each other all the longest, but we've grown really tight over the past couple of years, you know? So, um, I'm just thankful for it. You know, my guys at Trials, if I ask any of these guys, whether it's here in Trials, to bend over backwards for me, they would do it. And there wouldn't be questions asked. So, I just can't thank these guys enough. Coach Taylor, man, I love you, brother. Without you, I wouldn't be here. Just sticking through me. Surgeries, highs, lows, it all, man. It just... Like I said, man, I got great people around me. All these gyms I'm at, man, they just want to see me good. succeed. Life is good. I'm very blessed to be in the situation that I am. That's, so. that's wonderful, man. That's really good. Nobody makes it to the top on their own. So all these people, it's not just my success. It's our success, you know? 
upon his time off, what does uh, JJ like to do, man? What is he into? He's into cars, horses, fishing, camping. Oh man, uh, I just went camping last weekend. We were supposed to go up to Glenwood this weekend, but with the fires, obviously uh, that's not going to happen. Yeah. So, uh, summer, not training, catch me out at the lake, dude, riding some jet skis, waterboarding, skiing, whatever, man. Um, it's winter, I love snowboarding, man, I love it. I have so much fun up there on the mountain. <laughs> me and my buddy Ben, we go all the time. So, uh, if we're not in camp, sometimes we even do squeeze it in there. Probably not the smartest, but hey, like I said, we got to live our lives too. Um, Camping, shooting, and going out and having beers with the guys, you know. I'm, I'm a pretty open book. I'm a normal guy. I live a normal life. When I'm not training, I'm having some fun. But when it's time to get serious, man, I uh, I think people understand. They don't see me for a while because it's like, hey, man, I got to turn into a different person. So, That's right. And uh, in order to be successful, you got to make sacrifices. So, you know. Wonderful, man. Good deal, man. Shit, go out. You know, we'll, we'll be keeping an eye out for you and see when you come, you know, when we make the next announcement or the next fight coming up. Absolutely. It'll be coming um, here soon. You guys just stay tuned, man. I'll definitely. let everybody know. It'll be a big announcement. Definitely. So, for all of you that, um, you know, just stay tuned. And uh, when the announcement comes, it comes. But uh, keep your eyes open because this man's going to make some shockwaves in the water, man. It's what we do, man. It's what um, we do. Thank you, baby. Thank you for your time, thank man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate right on, you guys, appreciate man. You. Thank you. That was fun, man. That was fun.